Our camera lens trained on one man. He's been in terrific form as evidenced by four goals in three games. Stay with us. Hello everyone, we're raring to go. Our venue for this game is the Vitality Stadium. I'm Derek Ray getting ready to bring you all the action accompanied by my broadcasting partner Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Bournemouth taking on Chelsea. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system... Oh, Stewart's a chance! Well, hit with ferocity when accuracy was required. Well, finding the net has been hard enough for the home side this season. And to make matters worse, as far as this game is concerned, Stuart, they're up against the team with, statistically speaking, the best defence. Well, Derek, you always give me the... And he's through here. Oh, he did superbly well to get back there and thwart him. Well, a really good run. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Chelsea did more than enough in their win against Nottingham Forest. How might this one go, Stuart? Yes, that was the all-round team performance, wasn't it? They could have won by more than 3-0. Their fans absolutely loved it. And when you look at the two teams today, I'd expect them to win again. They should be too strong for their opponents here. Read it superbly to take back possession. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Tremendous block. Real chance. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Playing it in. Can they stop it going in? Well, no end product. Can he put it in? There it is! The first goal of the game, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. Good value for it. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. Lloyd Kelly. Ilya Zabarni. Oh, he's lost possession. Smith. And the ball back with Chelsea now. Might be a chance here. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly. He gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Oh, could be. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Played over. Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. And danger still. And I'll tell you what, that looked like a certain goal. Had to be a goal. Well, that was a golden opportunity. He has to score there. Senesi and Adam Smith on the ball and the right place to cut out the pass could be and what a magical save it was
Delivering it. Good clearance. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. And he did what he had to do defensively. Palmer with it. And the pass deftly cut out. Is it going to be? Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Who can they pick out? Aware of the threat, solving the problem. So that will be all for the first half. And the home side know they've got to show an improvement in the second 45. Well, we talked about their lack of goals at the start of the game, but that hasn't been... So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Nkunku. Can they open things up? Oh yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So the action underway again, and it's turning into a trouncing with Chelsea holding all the aces. And they need to get tighter. The cut back. And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cut back. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Solanke. Moving forward effectively. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Well, there's been a lot of speculation as regards this transfer and whether it would go ahead. It's finally been confirmed, Stuart. Well, I think he's still got a few years left in him. He still looks fit and sharp and still has that desire. What a good signing this could be. And wasteful from Chelsea. Smith. Senesi. Now with Ryan Christie. Committed challenge. Philip Billing. Chelsea regaining possession here. Chances on. And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Romain Fevre. Failure to keep the ball by Bournemouth. Madueke. Eh? 
excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. And Chelsea come away with it. You know, Chelsea have an awful lot of space. Oh, what an opportunity. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Well, we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Don't forget, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Bournemouth taking on Brighton. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Adams. Sinistera. They've regained possession. And threading it through. And just has to remain calm. And effectively parried away by the keeper. Lloyd Kelly. So the final whistle. And what we can say officially now is that Chelsea have picked up maximum points from this fixture. Well, I think we could have predicted this. The worst attack against the best defence. These fans aren't happy, are they? What a poor display that was. Some questions regarding the match. Thanks very much for speaking to us. Thank you for joining us here today. We'll be taking some questions now. Right, we'll be wrapping up now. Our camera's on one man. He's been in stunning form, scoring goals for fun. Stay with us. We're live next. Hello, it's a real pleasure to be with you from West London, from Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Chelsea up against... Aston Villa. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And crossed in there. Danger averted. Well, Chelsea deserved all the plaudits they got for their win against Bournemouth. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Well, that was one of their best attacking displays I've seen this season. Every time they went forward, they looked like scoring. Today might be another matter, though. 
Very difficult to split the two teams, at least on paper. It might just be that one bit of quality, a bit of magic that could be the difference. Brilliantly blocked. Chelsea did more than enough in their win against Bournemouth. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Well, Derek, as the table suggests, it's been a poor start to the season. And unless they improve, it's going to be a really difficult campaign for them, I think. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Douglas Luiz. On to Moreno. And a tidy tackle. Well, Chelsea being afforded too much space here. Free kick to Chelsea. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Played over. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? Well, offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. Oh, breezing past him. Could be. In it goes. Well, the pressure has been mounting, and now they have the lead. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Did really well to get through. Good defending in the end, and danger averted for now. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Can he put it away? And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession! No wonder they're celebrating! Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Ollie Watkins. And here is Mings. McGinn. Watkins. And moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. And he's in. And oh, it's in. We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. Chelsea losing possession. Plenty of support here. Great challenge, but the threat is still there. Gallagher, happy to shoot. Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. And easily cut out in the end. Gallagher, well the supporters think it's on, and a fantastic diving save. Over it comes, they'll repeat the trick, corner again. 
but fisted away by the goalkeeper. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, Christopher Nkunku is getting the star billing and with good reason. So underway again, Chelsea with the lead, but absolutely no room for complacency. Douglas Luiz. Torres on the ball. Cash. It's looking promising. Will he find the net? And it's gone in here. Just what Chelsea fans wanted to see. Their lead extended to two goals. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Douglas Luiz. It's with Rafa. Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. Carabao Cup excitement to look forward to live here on EA TV. It's Chelsea taking on Leicester City. Well, the cup always whets the appetite and that one's no different. It should be a really good game. Free kick to Chelsea. Well, the pass not finding its target. Wendia. Well, possibilities in the centre. Well, too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. And in the perfect position to read it. Good use of advantage by the referee. Matty Cash. Well, he keeps going. Had a chance to whip it in here. Just knocked it out of there. Carabao Cup excitement to look forward to. Live here on EA TV. It's Aston Villa facing Spurs. Well, that's a game to look forward to. Plenty to play for in that one. It should be a really entertaining game. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Well, the card is out and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Douglas Luiz. On to Moreno. Rafa and space for them here on the flank decided to take on the shot from a difficult angle not a memorable effort though well you have to question the decision making there could he have cut it back the angle was always against him Nkunku Gallagher given away by Chelsea but as the second half draws to a close we can reflect on a hang on Derek it's a chance here well when you're trailing by a couple of goals there's no margin for error well you can't miss those sort of chances that was their ticket back into the game Palmer Nkunku has it.
There to win it back. Rafa. Emiliano Buendia. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Douglas Luiz. Well, spot on with that challenge. And that is full time. Chelsea have prevailed. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority in attack, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him. Just a couple of questions for you. Thanks, that's all.